Hey guys, Sean Chief up to the brand new DVD Blu-ray Tuesday shop video today. They're going to go out today, see what, things, see what things came out today, see what things are on sale. Today though, new release wise, I know the main big thing coming out is the brand new Ant-Man film. And I believe with that one, there's a couple of different exclusive editions of that one that I've seen. I'm pretty sure there's a Best Buy Steelbook of that one. I don't know what's exclusive though for it at um, Walmart and um, Target though. I think there's something for it. You guys know though at Target though, half the time they never have this stuff out. So we'll see. Fingers crossed. Hopefully today they're actually put this stuff out. When it comes to a movie like that, it's like such a big release. You'd think it would be on the shelves or somewhere they would at least get that out. But not always, but like I said, we shall see. Uh, also, though, at the end of this video is going to be a whole bunch of brand new DVD, Blu-ray, and 4K reviews for some things that I received to review and talk about with you guys. So definitely stay tuned for those as well. But anyway, though, guys, let's get going and see what we can find today. Into Target we go. But like I always mention, I always show right here in the front, even though it's no longer movies, it's the books. But it's at least, you know, when you show in the front here, you at least get a little bit of footage in Target. Because the problem is, I always talk about it is, once you leave this section, it's like blaring, blasting music back there. But we shall see, you know, this is the Ant-Man is a really big Marvel release. I feel like it should be on the shelves, but we'll see if they have it out over there. This Target never has things out, so I don't know, but fingers crossed, we shall see. Well, as expected, this Target takes the L again. Absolutely nothing out in the shelves. I will say though, they did have the spaces for them. So the spots where Ant-Man and everything was gonna go is all there, but nothing was put onto the shelf. So it was one of those type of things, but I just can't believe it. You would think like a movie like Ant-Man, as big as that is, would have definitely been stocked, but not one, none whatsoever. Oh, Target, you're always taking the L. Taking the L, Target. Into Walmart we go. Well, today's looking like a day when all the movies were raptured because I, just, I don't know, because here we go. And it's not earlier than normal or anything. And Ant-Man 3, you know, that's not out. None of them. I'm definitely, I'm going to another Walmart. I'm probably going to another Target too uh, to see. Operation, Fo you know, Fortune, that one, that's not out. So all the stuff is not out today. Everyone's sort of forgotten. And this host, this whole section was raptured. This one is gone. In here, there's definitely would not be anything new in here. It's all the same stuff from the last, uh, you know, couple weeks and stuff like that in here. But yeah I, yeah, I don't think so. No, I don't think there's anything randomly mixed in. But yeah, what a pain. You would not think that these things would not be out, especially a Disney title. But they are, alas, as they say, they're not. As you see, even though the thing is there for it, and no, they did not all sell out. There's no way in hell that they all sold out. Sold out both places. Not on that movie. I don't. I don't think so. But uh, I mean, I haven't watched it yet, so I don't know. But I don't. I don't know. I don't. I don't think so. But we will head to, you know, the other Walmart, and hopefully, hopefully today's not the day when we don't see wait, like nothing out anywhere. But that'd be really strange. But we shall see. They do have Hawaiian shirts, though. Into the second Walmart we go. Well, guys, like I said, I have no idea what's happened today, but <laughs> this is another Walmart, and there is nothing out. Not even the other movies are out. It is a total rapture day. And look, every one of these Disney 100th ones, they were all raptured too. Let's see. If, <laughs> is there anything, like, mixed in down here? See, like... All these things, like Young Ip Man, I think that was a newer one. Swim, that was old. I think Magic Flute came out today. Um, War Torp, Baby Ruby, that was old. That was a week or two back. But that's a pain. It's crazy. Two Walmarts in a row. I've never seen that, especially for a big thing like Ant-Man. You think you honestly would think that that would be out and that like Disney would be like pissed if these stores weren't putting something like that. I, I would think so. So I've, I have no idea what in the hell is going on today, but it's like, we'll, we're gonna go to Best Buy. We'll see if Best Buy has this stuff out. And I, I can go to another Target and maybe I'll go to another Walmart. I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. The only reason I would go to another Walmart is if nothing was out at Best Buy. We'll see though, but today is just a very strange day. Like I said, I don't know why. I have no idea what's going on, but hopefully, hopefully at um, Best Buy, they have something out today. It's not all like this. Into Best Buy we go. 
Well, we'll see if it's at every single place today has nothing new out, but I doubt that will happen. Well, this is one of the things that came out today that I kind of totally forgot was releasing for the first time on 4K Italian Job. This is one of those movies that like, when this first came out, I remember hearing about this all the time. And like, I don't think I ever watched this movie. It has a bunch of people in it too. It's sometime I should, I should definitely watch this movie. Like I said, I've never seen this one. They have the, um, like I said, the standard 4K and then there's a steelbook of this one here as well. And that one's like $27.99 for that one. Other than that, though, I don't see anything new right here. Let's figure out where the Ant-Man thing is, unless they're not going to have it, too. It's like literally everywhere won't have it. No, they have it. They have all... They, it seems like they got all the Ant-Mans here. So they have Ant-Man and the Wasp. The standard Blu-ray is $27.99 uh, for that one. And then it's $34.99 for the 4K, the standard 4K of the film. And then the Steelbook, which they have a ton of here, is $38.99 uh, for the 4K uh, Steelbook. Here's a closer look, though, at what it looks like when it's like open inside uh, for this one. So like I said, this one's $38.99 for that one. Then other than that, though, anything else new here? I don't see anything else new here. Let's check in this vicinity. There's sometimes there could be some other stuff mixed in. This was last Tuesday. Not seeing anything else new from this week. So just trying to make sure I don't miss anything kind of mixed in down here or anything. Nope, all the same stuff here. And then this area, chewing in the corn, that was from last Tuesday. Oh yeah, that Operation Fortune. That one, like I said, that one came out today. Uh, nowhere has that one. I think Aubrey Plaza's in that. If you guys have seen that Operation Fortune, let me know how that one was. Other than that, though, that seems to be all the main uh, new things I see here today, though. But at least this location, though, had the um, the stuff out, though. Because like I said, this is the first one uh, that I've gone to that actually had out the new releases. We will go, though, to one other Target, though, just to see. Because I want to see if there's anything exclusive, though, for Ant-Man at Target. And I think there might have been something like that. So we shall see. The one thing I wanted to make sure to mention to you guys as well, too, it's going to be airing on Shudder on uh, March 21st, is I believe when it is. Uh, the, what's really exciting is there, there's going to be a category on there. It's, a, it's you know, the Fangoria's Chainsaw Award and they have a category on there called Best Amityville and Amityville Karen is up for one of the you know up for the award for Best Amityville so who knows if it will win or not or anything like that but still really cool that it's like part of it and if you look at like the list of all the other movies that are part of the Chainsaw Awards it's like really big things so it's like all these big movies and then this Best Amityville category and then Amityville Karen in it which is just so surreal and but really cool and I just want to say thank you to Fangoria for you know acknowledging that movie that I did and everything if you guys want to watch Karen too you can see it for free on on Tubi on that for that one but like I said it's gonna be uh, March I'm sorry May 21st is when it's gonna be airing and you guys can watch and if you guys do have Shutter too definitely record the part where like the Amityville Awards are because I'd love to see that one though into the second target we go well maybe if I call it Target they would decide to stock everything so into the second Target we go All right, so I've not peeked over here yet. So hopefully this target, oh, well, oh no, I don't think they care about physical media either. Look, I don't see anything. It's all the same stuff too. And this is one of those target locations that always would put out the new stuff, at least that you usually would for the most part. So no, they didn't put out anything whatsoever here either for um, Ant-Man. So crazy. So crazy. That's the thing. Target, when it comes to physical media, they really don't care. It's like that expression, zero, zero Fs given. I don't understand it. I really don't, especially for a big, you know, release like that. But, oh, it is what it is, though, I guess. So anyway, though, guys, I was off my brand new DVD Blu-ray Tuesday shopping video today. Like I said, crazy that Target did not have anything out at both locations for Ant-Man. But let me know in the comments below, though, if you went to Target, if what exclusive they had uh, for that one. Also, let me know what you guys picked up on DVD, Blu-ray, or 4K if you guys ended up picking up anything today. Also, let me know anything new that you guys have seen in theaters. If you guys saw anything new or watched anything on streaming recently as well. But now stay tuned for the brand new DVD, Blu-ray, and 4K review. And the first one I got here is from Lion's Gate. It's a movie here called Moving On, which stars uh, Lily Tomlin and Jane Fonda. They They've done so many projects together recently and they're, and they're both great together and basically though these were about two friends who uh, hadn't seen each other in years they got together because one of their friends had passed away and they got together for for her funeral and essentially when they get back there they end up kind of like remembering kind of like 
she had like a problem with her husband and like there's all these different types of stuff and it's basically like something that kind of had happened in the past and now they kind of want to go and get revenge so it can be kind of comes one of those kind of things of them trying to kind of get revenge on what had happened in the past to their friend who just recently passed away because it kind of brought back those old memories of them seeing each other again and everything and at the same time though then they start to kind of like have all these other kinds of problems it's a really fun movie it's not as like um some of the other stuff that they've done together have been more like of the films have been kind of more a little bit more tongue-in-cheek goofy a little bit like 80 for Brady's a little bit more goofy this is a little bit more serious Malcolm McDowell is in the film as well uh, it has on here though a photo gallery uh, feature wise on this one the next one here is one that I want to let you guys know is available and this is a really cool big box set now this is hard to show you guys now I will start doing stuff in the house again a lot of times if I don't get a chance to film it in the house that's why I do it in the car that's a lot of the reasons why but this is a huge box set here this is from um from Paramount for the complete or you know the official complete series of Bonanza and this gigantic box set here this has all 12 uh, no, sorry it's all 14 seasons of the show i'm going to show you guys a closer look though at this one here and i believe this is the first time this has ever been available in a complete series set like this i think so i know that there was like a complete series set i remember of like gun smoke but i don't think i remember one for bonanza let me see though getting all these ones out here to show you guys so and there's a lot of different features on these ones as well uh so here's uh, I'll, I'll go through some of the stuff that are on here i think on the does it show on the back all of the features, or should I go through the disc? I guess I'll go through the, um, the actual discs to show you guys. So here's the first um, set that has seasons one through four. And this one, some of the features on here, it has archival interviews with creator, producer on here, finished interviews on here with Dan Volker, uh, original bumpers, RCA promos, original episodic scenes from next week promo. So like the next week kind of, when they were kind of promoting like next week's episodes on here. And then there's some um, Chevrolet commercials on here, cast porches, renowned photographer on here appearances by the um the scene stealers uh commentaries on here uh, uh the standout stand-ins on here so a lot like i said lots of features on these releases here uh season and this is the seasons uh, five through eight some of the ones that are on here vintage interviews on here it has some um uh, episode uh, audio commentaries by writers Richard Easter as well as guest stars and even has like uh, Clint Howard and Rance Howard doing commentaries on here uh, so that's the one thing too about uh, about Bonanza they had a lot of different guest stars that were popular during the time because the show went to like the into the 70s so let's see um, what some of the other ones on here the Andy Williams show clips on here and then seasons 9 through 11 this has the original bumpers and episode trailers on select episodes, alternate Latin uh, American Spanish language soundtrack on every episode, original NBC pe uh, Peacock chimes logos on every episode. Uh, so like I said, lots of stuff on these uh, feature, on, you know, on these ones feature wise. And then seasons uh, 12 through 14 here. And this one has the commentaries, uh, new commentaries uh, and introduction by star Tim Madison. Uh, on here, a new commentaries by guest stars, uh, uh, some of the guest stars, original Chevrolet commercials on here, original bumpers on here as well, and then vintage and rare NBC promos for forever. So a lot of the vintage promos and things like that as well. Uh, the other one here, uh, this one uh, is from um, uh, moviezing.com. I have a link below where you guys can order this one for the best prices. Another uh, complete series box set. This is a show that I remember back in the day as a kid. I saw a couple episodes of this and it's a show called Katie and Allie. And I remember it was basically like about two friends who recently got divorced and they ended up moving in together with their kids. And it was kind of like, sort of like one of those kind of full house type shows and stuff like that. But I remember this like very briefly. I know I saw a couple episodes of this one back in the day. It went for six seasons. I think it, it started in like 83, I believe but it has on here though a feature wise a conversation with Susan uh, 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 St. Uh, St. James and Bill uh, Persky as well as a gag reel and the great 80s TV flashback and I'll show you guys though a look at the um, the discs here as well so here's season one uh, the complete second season here of the show season uh, three and then season four uh, five it'd be funny if I wasn't looking and these were all like out of order and then season six and then the other ones here, uh, these ones are from uh, MVD. And this is also from um, SRS Cinema. This is a fun movie that uh, Mark Polonia directed with his son. It's called Motorboat. And it's basically, though, about this, like, killer. It's sort of like, it's kind of making me think of that movie The Wraith a little bit. Like, because, like, it was, like, this sort of, like, kind of, um, they were using, like, a radio control type thing. But it was kind of like a... 
kind of it's sort of a weird type of boat that they were using. But basically, though, this boat is going around and killing people in this town. It's kind of all these sorts of problems that are going around, and it's like this priest that's trying to stop and get to the bottom of the whole thing. I thought it was actually a really fun movie. It has on here though a comedy track and, and then trailer for the film and then trailers for other uh, SRS cinema releases. The other one here that is from MVD, and this is one of the ones that is a MVD Rewind collection release. And I love the way these are designed because they, they have the, the slip covers on them that are done to look like old school video rentals. So they're kind of aged up. So it says 50 cents charge if not rewound. And they have like the stickers like where you would go and like the number to find the tape in the back and all that kind of stuff on here. But this one has on here though, feature wise, uh, has the um, new commentary track on here with the producer and co-writer and co-director on here. Uh, it, you know, it's also moderated by Syrup Midnight, uh, you know, from YouTube. He's like the moderator on it. It has starting a war, a conversation with LA Wars producer on here, interviews on here with the cinematographer, original theatrical trailer as well on this one. And this one, I got to cover this up. This is from, um, uh, this is from uh, Culture Shock releasing. And I can't show some of this on the cover. A lot of times when I say that, I'm like, oh, yeah, you could show that. This one, I probably can't. This is one, uh, Donald Farmer's new movie here called Debbie Does Demons. This is actually really fun. I just was watching this one last night. It's basically, though, about a group of these friends that mess around with a Ouija board, and they end up bringing back this um, kind of like demon, kind of, and it's like this uh, this demon with the, with the Ouija board. It's basically going, and she's coming after all of her friends and possessing them and all these type of things. I, I, I actually really like this one. It kind of has like a Fright Night kind of feel to it as well because it's like a TV show host. They kind of get to try and help them stop this demon. Really, really fun movie. Has on here, though, an introduction by Donna Farmer in here. It has some behind the scenes on here as well. Teaser trailers as well on here and some interviews on this one. The other one here, um, this is from uh, Dark Star Pictures. And these are all from, um, you know, Debbie Does Demons and other are from the partner releases from Vinegar Syndrome. This is one called Attack of the Demons. This is a fun animated film here. It's basically... Basically, though, it's set in 94. It's basically about, like, a group of these friends that are all having to deal with, like, this town that's overrun by these crazed demons. It sort of has, like, a Night of Living Dead kind of vibe to it, but it's really cool animation style to this one. It has on here, though, a comedy track on here with the director and writer on here, a comedy track on here with Dead Centrals um, people on here, a comedy track from Skull Tracks, Lu uh, Lucas Telgen. Uh, Demons uh, for Days, The Making of Attack of the Demons on here as well. It also has the Proof of Concept trailer on this one. The other one I want to let you guys know that was available. This is from Altered Innocence, and this is the Gaspar Noir film here. Um, is it called... El Irresistible here. This this one here, like I said, one of the guys that this one was available. You know, Gaspar Noir directed, you know, Enter the Void, Climax, which I really loved uh, that film. So I always really love his stuff. This has on here two cuts of the film and it's newly restored in 2K with an hour of bonus features on here. It has an, um, feature wise, it has a brand new interview on here, a brand new featurette revisiting 20 years later and featuring interviews with Gaspar Noir on here. Um, some video essays on here, special effects featurettes, uh, music videos, original trailer, a restoration trailer and other trailers for other Ultra Innocence releases on this one. And the last one here is from uh, from Severn Films. This is one, uh, the Complete Comic Strip Presents Channel 4 Films. And Channel 4 is in like a UK uh, channel. They always kind of, I think they actually played, I might be wrong, but I think in the UK in Channel 4, they might have played Howard Stern back in the day. I might be totally wrong about that, but I remember like Howard Stern always said Channel 4 was always bringing that up, but like Maybe they aired it like for a short period of time, some of his episodes over there. I don't know if I'm wrong about that or not. That might have been something totally different. But this is basically from the, um, you know, from Drop Dead Fred, the one actor, um, you know, Rick Mile, who was um, amazing, you know, played Drop Dead Fred. He was in The Young Ones. This is a kind of a sketch comedy kind of wh wacky series that they did, uh, you know, that was, it, it, you know, for, that aired on that channel of these kind of crazy specials and skits and stuff like that. Really, really really fun. This has on here the Rise of Comic Book Strip, a documentary on here, the Comic Book Strip short film on here, uh, 30 Years of Comic Book Strip, Bad News, the whole uh, solid story on here, some series trailer on here as well. But anyway though guys, that was all for the review portion of this video. And like I always say, if you guys enjoyed these videos, definitely give this video a thumbs up. Thanks again for watching and subscribing. I'll see you guys later. Bye.